Higa Sviantek versus Maria Sakkari is the final of Indian Wells for 2024. And both players have had different rows to get to this stage. Sakkari entered the tournament as the number nine seed and would get a buy in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Schneider. And after dropping the first set, would fight back to win. 5-7, 6-4, 6 love. In the third round, she'd take on the 20th seed, Garcia. Very tricky opponent. So no problem for Sakkari getting through in straights. 6-3, 6-4. In the fourth round, she'd take on Parry, who'd taken out Fernandez along the way. And after dropping the second set, Sakkari would fight back to win. 6-2, 3-6, 6-3, to advance to the quarterfinal. In the quarterfinals, Sakura would take on the 23rd seed Navarro, who'd just taken out Sabalenka in the previous round. And after dropping the first set, would fight back to win 5 7 6 2 6 4 to advance to another semi final at Indian Wells. In the semi finals, Sakura would take on the number three seed Goff, who had had to struggle to get to this stage. And after a long rain delay after the first set and a very intense second set, Sakura would eventually get through in three 6 4 6 7 6 2 to advance to the final. Triantic entered the tournament as the number one seed and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Collins. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-3, six, 6-love. Six, in the third round, she'd take on the 26th seed, Noskova, who had beaten her at the Australian Open a couple months ago. This was a totally different story, with Fiontek winning easily. 6-4, six, 6-love. Six, in the fourth round, she'd take on Putin Seva, who had taken out Madison Keys in the previous round. But again, no problem for Fiontek getting through in straights. 6-1, six, 6-2, six, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Fiontek would take on the wildcard Wozniacki, who had had a real resurgence this week. And after going down early, Fiontek would fight back in the first, with Wozniacki eventually retiring. 6-4, six, 4-1 love retirement. In the semi-finals, Fiontek would take on Kostyuk, the 31st seed, who had done really well to get to this semi-final. But Fiontek was too powerful, getting through in straights. 6-2, 6-1 to advance to the final. These two have played five times before, with Sakri actually leading the head-to-head 3-2, but they haven't played in over two years. In fact, the Indian Wells final of 2022 was the last time they played, and Fiontek won in straight sets. So, be a real test for Maria, because, of course, Fiontek, since then, has only gotten better and better. Sakri's gonna win this one. She's gonna keep that intensity, like she did against Goff. In the first set against Goff, she was flawless. She did kind of stumble in the second, but if she can really bully Sviantek and keep that intensity that she's been keeping the last two weeks, she might be a chance here. If Sviantek's going to win this one, she needs to get off to a good start. She got off to a great start against Kostyuk. Of course, Kostyuk was a little shaky, maybe a little nervous, so she's got to get off to a good start against Zachary because we know that if Zachary goes off and starts hitting random winners everywhere, it's going to get really scary for Sviantek. This is a really interesting final. It's really interesting because we haven't seen them play for a few years, and this is one of the only players that has a winning record over Sviantek, but I've got to go with the eager in three. I think Zachary might win a set, but I think Sviantek will hold strong and get the win in three, but let me know down in the comments below who's going to win Indian Wells.